What up, it's your girl Stacey Brizzle. I'm sitting here with the one and only Slam from La Copa Nostra. We know the difference who the bitches and girls are. Nah, I ain't as rich as all them snitches at World Star. How do you compare acting to music? Sometimes I look at them like two different things, but they're really the same thing. It's storytelling. It's just uh, a different way to tell a story. Acting is something that I didn't really expect to do. And, um, you know, Ben Affleck kind of saw something in me I didn't see in myself. Uh, favorite movies? We were talking about this today, actually. Um, Pulp Fiction, Shawshank Redemption, Goodfellas, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, yes. Magnolia. What director would you love to work with that you haven't worked with already? Is there anybody in mind? Martin Scorsese or Quentin Tarantino. Oh, Easy. Those would be my top two choices. So I heard a story uh, with you and Snow from Canada. Can you tell us about that? It's about oh, Snow, actually. Farmer. I think it was 1999. It was the first paid gig I had. At, uh, MC Shan used to like semi manage me. I used to work with him in the studio in, in Jamaica, Queens. And he had been working with me, and I had this song that he loved, and he flew me up to Toronto. It was my first paid gig in the music business, and him and Snow were recording an album, and uh, they asked me to write on it and feature on it or whatever, so I, I came up. I got like 500 bucks to do it. I spent it all on drugs for the studio <laughs> session. And I hadn't seen Shan for 15 fucking years. And then we were just on like a underground magazine cover. Like it's a double-sided cover. And I was on the front and he was on the back. And back then I used to be called John Doe. It was before I was even called Slam. And, um, and the dude who wrote the article was like, yo, Shan hit me up. And was like, yo, is that John Doe? And then I, fucking, I talked to him for the first time in 15 years, like two weeks ago. What was, that, what was the track called? Uh, Let It Rain. And what was the album called? It didn't come out. I don't think it ever came ever? out. Ever? Yeah. We gotta find that. I give these rappers bad advice and a nervous twist. Penetrate and innovate a renegade. I murder shit. And the Wolves Underworld series. You killed yourself from both parts. I had the worst first in the first Underworld. Fuck, I'm supposed to be dead already. If you were in Underworld 3, how would you want your death seat to be? I think maybe I'd just come back to life. And in the Underworld. Talking about your sobriety and stuff, how how was it making the adjustment into sobriety after? Because you talked about all this time, you did all this drugs, and you were, you know, in depth with the, the scene. How was it making the adjustment for you? Everything's come back to me times ten, as far as like my uh, just my my whole being, like my spirit is back, like my confidence is bigger than it ever was. You know what I'm saying? And just I just. My physical is coming back and I'm bouncing back in every way. I feel better than I did when I was fucking 25. Is there any advice you can give to the youth out there right now that are struggling with sobriety and struggling with drug use and alcoholism? What's the one thing that you can say to them right now? You know, I mean, there's, there's places out there and there's people who, who get sober and know how to do it and plug in with those people. There's a, there's, there's a way out. I think people think like drinking and getting high is freedom. I did, you know, and, and it's not, it's not. The freedom is being sober and clear, clear, and you can see what's going on, and you can see what they're doing to manipulate you, and you can overcome. Because at the end of the day, God gave you everything that you need. God gave you more than a drug could ever give you or a drink could ever give you. You have it all inside of you, and that's the lie I told myself. I definitely want to know what's your favorite food. My favorite food? Yeah, what's your pussy? I love fucking sugar and carbs. I haven't had them in fucking 31 <laughs> days. I'd die for a cupcake right now. Um, Say, so what can we expect from you in the future? There are four projects that I was working on simultaneously when I got sober, and, and like I said, it took a while. And um, Slain is Dead is one of them, To Thine Own Self Be True is one of them. Slain vs. Terminology, the anti hero, the one that's kind of like the cap on it is called The Day Before I Died, and it's like about how I got sober and all the things. Over. It's a journey, and it looks back and it reflects on all the things that I thought and like my fears and insecurities, and then it talks about like gaining strength through this process and spirituality and connecting to something bigger than myself. And um, I don't know, that might be the, that might be the last one I do. Well, thank you so much for taking your time with Real Talks with Stacey Brazil. This is a family, Real Wolf. We love Slam. We work with him a lot. And thank you so much Give for everything. Give him rock the shirt.
Yes. And I gave you that shirt. You did. And you asked me for a new one tonight. Well, because I like the prophecy one. Classic grizzle. Classic grizzle. Classic. 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 Classic.